Hey everyone, this is Corin from the Speedycom team and today we are going to see how you can create a free shipping bar that will calculate the amount left before free shipping. This is actually a very cool tutorial because you will be able to display to your customers the amount left before they can benefit from your free shipping rules. Before we begin, you should always make sure that you duplicate your theme files just in case you make any big mistakes and you want to come back to your original theme files. So for that you need to go to online store themes then click on actions and duplicate. Here you can see I already have a couple of copies. So once you have duplicated your theme files come back to the tutorial. By the way you will find the tutorial link in the description of the video and first copy the CSS code. And while I'm copying, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also check out all the other cool free tutorials that we have added and we plan to add a lot more. So once you've copied yourself the CSS code, you need to go back to your theme files, click on actions and edit code. Then you will have to find the assets folder and the theme.css file. Actually, this file may be named differently depending on the theme that you are using. So if you don't find theme.css, please don't panic. Uh, for example, here you can see that uh, we have given you a few uh, examples of what you can find in your theme. It's maybe theme.scss.liquid, timber.scss.liquid. Also, it's scss or just css so it's pretty much the same thing then it can be default.css.liquid or styles.scss.liquid etc so if you're not sure uh, which file you should open you can actually go back to your theme.liquid file and this is uh, something you will find in all the themes and here you can open the search bar with Control f or command f and uh, look for css and here uh, let's see there you go, you can see that for us it's um, theme.css. So once you've found your file, you will go all the way down and you will paste the code that you just copied and you will click save. After that we will need the HTML code. So let's go back to the tutorial, copy the HTML code and back once again on the code editor and this time we will have to find the header.liquid file. Uh, this one is in the sections folder. We open the header.liquid. Sometimes this kind of problem may occur. You just have to refresh your page. There you go. And then you will just paste your code at the very beginning of the file. There you go. And of course, always click on save. Alright, so once you've copied the HTML code as well, you will be able to already see the shipping bar on top of your header. Also, please don't worry about the British pound that you see on my store. It's just the default currency on this store and whatever the currency you have yourself will be displayed on the shipping bar. Also, if you want, maybe I'll give you just a quick tutorial on how you can change the format of your prices. So you go to general settings in your Shopify settings and at the very bottom you have the store currency here you can click on change formatting and you can actually move the currency on the left or on the right or however you wish to display uh, the overall pricing so here you can see it's on the left because that's how the British like to do it but I can change it and switch it to the right side or I can just leave it as it is so that's that, let's go back to the store and test this shipping bar. All right, so first I'm going to find a product, then I'm going to add it to the cart. There you go. And here we can see this product costs us 45 pounds and in the shipping bar it is displayed that there is only 15 pounds left before free shipping so you can see that the shipping bar works but just a disclaimer this will only work if you have a cart page if you have a mini cart it's not compatible with the mini cart unfortunately so now that we have tested the shipping bar and we know it works i'm going to help you to customize it for that you need to go back to your code editor 
open the theme.css file, we will start with this one and go all the way down to the code that you copy pasted. So this code is about the colors. For example, you can first change the background color of the bar. Here we have the code for the orange color and I'm going to switch it to the black. So that's six zeros. I'm going to save it, refresh our page. And here you can see now the background is black. Or you can also change the color of the text. So for example, let's say I will go back to the orange background and here on the second line, I'm going to change it to black. So I'm going to put the six zeros here. Save, then refresh. And here you can see orange background and black text. So I'm going to switch back to the default settings. And now we are going to change the text itself. And for that, you need to go back to the header that liquid file. And here you will need to customize these four lines. So the first line is for the text before the amount. So here you can see the word only. And then you have the amount itself, which is the amount that you need to uh, choose in your Shopify settings. So for example, if you've set uh, free shipping above $50, then you have to put 50 in this section too. Then you have the third line that will be the text after the amount. You can see here to go before shipping, to go before free shipping. And the fourth line is actually the text that will be displayed once the client goes above the amount that you have chosen. So for example, if I go back to the product and I add another unit, you can see here the display uh, of the text has changed. So now we have uh, the phrase that says you have free shipping. So of course you can customize all of this however you want. And as, uh, as we saw, you can also customize the colors. So this is pretty customizable and I think it's a fairly useful tutorial. So I hope you really like this. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to check out our free tutorials that we have already posted and we are going to actually add another tutorial every week. So please don't forget to come back.